YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be doing a skin fade. So I'm going to begin this cut by taking my caliber 357 using my wall one and a half guard. I'm going to come in with the lever open and I'm going to begin to knock down and remove all this bulk. This is going to be the desired length for my client on top. So I'm going to make sure I cut everything evenly. Alright, so now that I got everything knocked down evenly, I'm going to come in with my Monster 99 trimmer and I'm going to begin to set and create my first guideline, which is going to be my bald guide. Alright, so now that my bald guideline was created, I'm going to come in with my caliber foil shaver and I'm going to completely bald out that guide. However, when I get towards the top of that guideline, I am going to use that slight flick out motion because I want to demonstrate a nice clean transition from completely bald to stubble because later on that's going to help this blend pop. I'm also letting this video run in real time. I want you guys to get a good clear visual of how these tools actually work opposed to me just telling you about them. This is going to be part two of a three part series. If you haven't caught the first part, make sure you go check that out. Um, again, this is going to be part two and we're going to end with the third part with the giveaway that's sponsored by Caliber. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Now that I have that guide completely balded out, I'm going to come in with my caliber 357 with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline.
So now that my guideline was created with the lever open, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back towards the top of this guide. And little by little as I work my way up, I'm going to slightly open my lever. And every time that I do that, my guide's going to move up with me. But that's okay because that's exactly what I'm looking for. By the time I get towards the top of this guide and my lever's fully extended, it'll be completely blended out. However, I got to give credit where credit's due. And one thing I absolutely love about this Caliber 357 clipper that I'm using is the notches that it has placed on the lever. It literally does all the work for me. So what you see me doing right here is just working my way through that notch system that's already in place. And you could clearly see that it delivers a nice blurry blend. All right, so now that that guide's blended out, I'm gonna come in with my wall number one guard with the lever fully open, and I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. I am giving myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide, that way I keep everything consistent with this blend. Once my guide's created with the lever fully open, you'll see that I'll close my lever, and I'll begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of this guide. But this time, I'm going to keep my lever fully closed and I'm going to go right to underneath where I just left off with that lever fully open. So typically that one closed, it tends to leave weight behind. So I'm gonna come in with my wall half guard with the lever fully open, and I'm gonna begin to attack right above the weight that I see. Again, that's right above the weight that I see. And I'm gonna use that fade down process, meaning I'm gonna close my lever as needed, working my way down until that guide's completely blended out.
Now that I blended out that guide, I'm noticing a slight shadow that was left behind from that one with the lever open. So I'm coming in with my wall one and a half guard with the lever closed and I'm attacking that shadow just trying to tighten my fade. Alright, so now it's time to cut the other side of his head and I'm literally going to repeat the same exact steps so I'm not going to walk you through them. However, I want you to still follow along and if there's anybody that's watching right now and there's an area that you're struggling with as far as blending or fading, make sure you get active in that comment section below that way myself or somebody else that belongs to this community can help you and get you over that. I also want to take this time to say shout out to Tito Beats for this fire that you hear in your ear. I'm going to make sure to drop his link in the description so make sure you guys check my boy out. I also want to say if you're getting anything useful out this make sure that you smash that like button. We could all clearly see that the channel is struggling right now. We're getting no views and we're struggling. We're starting to fall behind and I don't want to allow that to happen because I like this community that we're building here. So make sure that you're getting active, commenting in that comment section below. Make sure that you're smashing that thumbs up button. Make sure that you're smashing that thumbs down button if there's something that I'm doing that you're not liking. And let me know what it is. That way I could switch it up. I'm getting ready to invest in the channel. I'm going to upgrade my editing software. Um, I'm thinking about upgrading my camera. I have so many ideas for what direction I want to take this channel in and it's going to take the community to stand strong to make sure that we don't get left behind. So again, make sure that you're smashing that like button, that you're getting active in the comment section below and make sure that you're sharing this content with somebody that would grow from it. Alright, so now that my blend's coming together, I'm going to go ahead and begin my finish work. And I'm only going to include a few shots right here because I'm not using caliber equipment and that's what this video is focused on. Here. 
here's a look at the final cut if you got anything useful out this i ask that you smash that like button if you're new to my channel i suggest you stick around it's only gonna get doper from here i appreciate y'all be blessed and be a blessing i'm out